Hi Sagittarius, this is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for stopping by. So first of all, happy birthday to all of the Sagittarians out there. I hope you guys have a nice time that you can celebrate, um, even you know, given the circumstances that we have going on. So let's go ahead and do your general reading. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs for the month of December 2020. So we're basically just going to take a look at what is coming in for you. What do you need to know? You know, any, any advice for you, any guidance, just whatever spirit wants to bring through. Okay. So of course, this is very general. It's not going to be for all Sagittarians out there. So just take what fits with you. Take what resonates. If it doesn't feel like it's for you, then, you know, don't take the messages and confuse yourselves. Also, it very well could be picking up on your environment or just your surroundings or somebody who's close to you, just because we're going to look at the collective, just overall Sagittarian energy. So keep that in mind as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and see here. So Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising signs in the month of December. What is the overall energy right now within and around the Sagittarian Collective? What's coming in for you, Sagittarius? What do you need to hear right now? What is the guidance for you? What is the advice for you? What can you expect here? What do we have for Sagittarius right now? So Spirit, please use me as a clear and direct channel for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising in the Collective Energies. What does Sagittarius need to hear? Whoever's tuning into this reading, whoever needs guidance, what are the messages, the general messages? Okay, so let's see here first. What is the overall kind of theme right now? The overall energy within and around Sagittarius at the moment. Okay, so we have the King of Cups, <clears throat> flew out sideways, and we have the Magician here. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands, the Moon in Reverse, the Seven of Swords, and the Hierophant here. Okay, and the Knight of Cups beneath that one. So I'm kind of getting, you know, right off the bat here, a little bit of a, a little bit of a dual type energy here. So we're going to clarify because I do feel, you know, when I'm looking at the bottom of the deck, when I have the hair font, the seven of swords, the moon in reverse, I do feel kind of a little bit of a sneaky energy here. And, you know, the magician can be a very powerful manifestation energy, but can also be a little bit tricky, especially when the king of cups is not fully balanced. It can be somebody who's you know, maybe a little bit emotionally um, uh, manipulative, or there could be an element here of that. So I feel like with this four, with the moon in reverse here too, it could be that there's a feeling of, um, with the seven of swords right beneath this here, of possibly, possibly coming out, something coming to light, okay, it could be that as well, or secrets coming to light here. And with this four of wands here, since I'm connecting with the hair font as well, it could be connected to a home. You know, I feel like I've been saying this a lot lately, but this could be a theme here. I think this was coming through for Capricorn as well. Um, I think it was Capricorn, but with the four of wands here. So let's go ahead and confirm this magician and the king of cups here. Some of you could be connecting with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. For others of you, this is just you. You're finding your stability. But see here at the bottom, we have back and forth in reverse. Okay, so let's see what else we have at the bottom of the deck here. We do have rest and hibernate as well. And beneath that, we have forgive and forget. It feels like with that king of cups being sideways here, some of you have been just trying to find emotional balance with something. And the fact that we have those cards at the bottom of the deck, it could be that because of the reason you're trying to find emotional balance, the reason that you're trying to find stability here within something that has been exposed to you or hidden from you here. And I feel that there is kind of like a feeling of getting control back, but it feels more like self-control, emotional control here on yourself or on you know, a situation here. 
So let's confirm this Magician and the King of Cups because you have to have a really, it's like in order to be in the Magician's energy here in a, in a balanced way, there needs to be a very self, um, like a very strong self-realization with the Magician and, and otherwise we can misuse our energy. So that's why I feel with the King of Cups here, this is emotional mastery. The King of Cups is very, you know, emotionally content within himself. He's very um, mature with his emotions here. So I feel like there's this level of self mastery here. And I, I feel like it's for you, you know, for some of you, it could be somebody else who's close to you here. Um, magician can also be Gemini or uh, Virgo energy. If that, you know, could resonate with some of you. So let's see here, what's going on with this King of Cups and the magician? What other messages do we have for Sagittarius right now? In December. What other messages do we have for Sagittarius? Let's confirm this King of Cups. Interesting. So we have Milestone. Okay, so it's interesting because we have Peace at the bottom of this deck. And when I was shuffling this one, we have Peace here. So this is really about finding peace. So I do feel for most of you... This is about, yeah, beneath this here, we have stuck energy in reverse. So it's like there's a feeling of wanting to come into power within the self here. For a lot of you, I feel like this is you um, really wanting to maybe stabilize your emotions, especially if there has been, like I said here, some difficulty within deception, especially around maybe a, you know, commitment here with the hair font. And it feels like this is about overcoming some like hidden information here and coming into peace, coming into balance. And I do feel too with this um, milestone card, this is an event, number six card event. And it kind of flew out like this. And we have angels of the four directions here. And it was kind of in reverse. So let's get some of these here. What are the messages for Sagittarius, please, in December? This is my uh, new Oracle deck, Shades of the Soul. It is available on Etsy if you guys are interested. So what else do we have going on for Sagittarius? Can we clarify this King of Cups, Magician, Milestone? <clears throat> So there's a lot of spiritual energy right now for you. Okay. So here we have, remember your origin. So this card is really about, especially for those of you who are star seeds, light workers, it's like, there's a feeling here with this angels of the four directions as well of coming into again, emotional balance here. And I feel like maybe some of you are trying to achieve a, you know, a milestone here. This could be a celebration. It could be a um, a raise, a promotion, just something that you're trying to achieve, something that you're trying to, it kind of feels like I'm actually hearing the message for some of you, this is a milestone within your spiritual growth, if that makes sense. It's almost like you're, um, this may be for some of you, it's like you're kind of going through an ascension, you're going through this process of becoming very powerful within yourself, becoming a very powerful manifester. So for those of you who have been really into law of attraction or manifestation, or maybe you're just doing something within the craft, it's like you're really coming into a lot of power within yourself and you're being supported here. And I feel like, I don't know why I'm really getting that strongly here for somebody. It's like you have a lot of powerful energy within you. And maybe, you know, with this to come out at the bottom of the deck here, we'll see what else this is about. It could be about coming to, it could even be about coming to terms with who you are, you know, with the seven of swords here in the hair font with the moon in reverse. It's like something maybe has been hidden or tucked away. And for some, that could just be you wanting to maybe be somebody different than you have been. Okay. So with the, we have accept the truth here. And we have don't give up yet. So again, don't give up yet. There's a milestone coming up for you. I'm not sure yet what this is, but there's a milestone that's coming up for you. And that's why it came out like this is because some of you are reaching a 
again, this powerful level of, of um, self-realization and self-mastery here. And I feel like this is a, this is about, some of you are going to be healers. Some of you are moving to the direction of being a healer or being somebody of power, but in, in a way that's, that's for the collective, in a way that's for humanity. So this could be doing something in um, maybe even spirituality here for some of you. And it's like, I do feel with this, remember your origins, maybe with this card to come out in reverse, some of you are, are still kind of connecting the dots here. You're still connecting to spirit and spirit wants you to connect deeper to them. They want you to remember who you are. They want to remember what you're here to do. And I feel that this is about maybe having to expose this, or maybe you having to, again, come out to the open about this somehow. So with the accept the truth here, the same kind of feeling as the moon in reverse. So I do feel like there has been something again, that's been tucked away here. So we'll see what else we have going on because I do feel So this definitely won't be for all of you, but there could even be a little bit of spiritual, um, like darker spiritual things that have been happening for you. And that's only if you kind of know that, that has been happening. And I feel that you are, it's like you're being really looked after spiritually right now within, you know, your guides and your, your purpose here. And so it's, it's almost like there's a feeling of, something coming to light that maybe has been hidden in terms of what has been keeping you tied down or stuck. And most, most of this is spiritually though. Okay. So we have focus on abundance and success at the bottom with purify your life beneath that. Yeah. So a lot of you, I feel this is definitely about your success. This is definitely about some form of milestone. And I feel that this is really going to be in the form of you creating this yourself. I mean, with the magician, we do create this within ourselves here, but it's going to require you to have to remember who you are, remember your power, but also remember your spiritual um, team. And for those of you who do resonate with being a light worker or a star seed, they're coming through here to remind you of what you're here to do. So I know this is coming through to be a very um, spiritual type of message, but definitely don't give up on some milestone that you have. And, and like I said, I think for some of you, this is not even something that you are. It's not like you're sitting there and knowing that you want something for some it is, but for others of you, this is like a spiritual milestone. This is about you being kind of pushed forward within your growth. And I do, I, I am getting the message for some of you that there has been something that you've been involved in or something that has been around you that has been keeping you kind of from this milestone. And I feel like it is kind of more of a spiritual thing, like tying you down spiritually. Yeah, see, we have here success and fortune with develop your destiny beneath that. Again, yeah, so really powerful energy here. This is like, this is very much about these colors too are giving me the same feeling of, of just that... Um, that strength that you have here to create what you want. So you're really being encouraged to develop your own destiny. And yes, you have to master your own emotions first, but I feel like you're, you're almost there. Like a lot of you, there could be a truth that you have to accept here about who you are though. And I do feel too, with the success and fortune with the, we had the word success twice. Don't give up on your path right now. So if there's something that you're doing that you feel not necessarily ashamed about, but if you feel like there's something that you're doing that you have not told others about or that you have not come out to the open about, then that is definitely confirmed here that you are almost to the point where it's going to begin to pay off for you here. So let's see what else we have for Sagittarius. And yeah, with the four of wands at the bottom, this is actually coming through to me to indicate here that you're moving towards your stability. You're moving towards this success and fortune, which is going to promise you the four of wands, which is, is security, stability, um, have maybe a happy home life here, but it's coming after this. And that's why I feel it's coming after having to either run away from something in order to, to make something new out of your life here. Or, you know, again, possibly there has been something that has come to light about deception, but it's almost like this is for your highest good. For those of you who have gone through a recent separation or a recent, um, 
you know, divorce or something happened here. It's like, this is actually meant to prepare you for your true life purpose. And I've said this for the other signs too, but this is more about your spiritual. A lot of you are in the spiritual, um, you know, field somehow here in a, in a, in a deeper way, in a way of having a lot of support around you with your ancestors and your, your angels, your team here. So this is actually pushing you forward to where you're meant to be spiritually here. Yep. See, we have voice of your muse, Neptune. There could be some Piscean energy here for you with the King of Cups and the Neptune, but this is, if, if not, this is just about, you know, this is really your emotional creativity here, your level of self-expression. Some of you are going to be expressing yourself in a way that you have always wanted to express yourself. You've always wanted to feel, maybe some of you have felt understood is what I'm, I'm, I'm hearing as well. I misunderstood. I, I, I don't know if I said understood, misunderstood for something that you have felt kind of brewing within you. And it's like you wanted an outlet for this. And Spirit's reminding you here that you have to follow the voice of your muse. You have to follow this because there's a milestone that's going to come up for you that's going to confirm that this is the path for you here. Yeah, another card here. We have gold, abundance. So definitely, if anything here, Sagittarius, you're moving towards a lot of, of abundance, especially financially, but it, it goes both emotionally and financially because this is coming from your heart. So this is not something, and you'll know if this will be for you because this is not going to be a path that's going to feel weighed down for you. This is going to be a path that comes from your heart, that comes from your soul, and that is likely very creative somehow. And this is going to be how you're going to create abundance. So if you're wondering how to create your abundance or if you're in a financial pinch, this is about this is about um, finding using your soul to create abundance. If, if this is making sense here. So what else do we have for Sagittarius? I keep seeing this card, Lighthouse, Saving Grace. Um, for some of you, this is your... It's like your spirituality is your saving grace. Another card here, dragon, power and legacy. Really, really powerful energy. A lot of you, if you're into, you know, connecting with your ancestors, you have very powerful ancestors, very powerful team around you right now. So any other messages for Sagittarius, please, for December? Any other messages for Sagittarius? What do you need to know? Yeah, another very powerful card. We have Warrior Spirit here. So you have here the here Warrior Spirit. We have, yeah, Pleasure and Laughter. We have Clairvoyance, Indigo. We have Pink, Let Love Enter. And we have here Enhanced Self-Respect, Lapis Lazuli. So some of you are going to be opening up your clairvoyant abilities, but it's the same kind of feeling here. It's connected to your spiritual growth. It's connected to the level of mastery within your gifts, within who you're meant to become. So this is this is probably going to be for those of you who are really going to be aligning to a spiritual path. So if this doesn't feel like you, then you know this may not be your reading because this is very, very distinct message, I feel. So you're really moving towards this place of following your pleasure and laughter and the way that these women are laughing as well. I feel like you're moving towards happiness. You're moving towards not only, you know, not only making money, but making money with your purpose and with your path. And this is going to be something, um, I'm just repeating myself, but this is going to be something that's going to be within your soul. Okay. So a lot of you, I feel with these two very powerful and spiritual cards, it's like you're moving towards sovereignty here within your path. And I feel this could be a really good crystal to work with here, Lapis Lazuli right now. And I feel this is really what you're meant to do. We have let love enter. 
So this is about also, you know, letting love enter in your emotions. And I feel that's connected to the King of Cups here. It's not, it could be romantic love for some of you, but for others of you, this is just about letting yourself follow what you love, follow your, your heart here. Any other messages for Sagittarius in December? Any other messages for Sagittarius in December? Okay, so at the bottom here, we have now is the time to integrate all that I have gathered. And it's in the reverse position. And then we have these are also in reverse. It says here, we are all sisters and reflect the divine in one another. I meet resistance with kindness. And these are in reverse here. So I feel like a lot of you are going to be connecting. So I'm getting two different messages here. For some of you, there is a feeling of you disconnecting from people who have not been in your best interest. These could be other um, light, light workers for some of you. This could be other, if, if you're a light worker or if you're in this, this field, it could be that there has other interferences here that have not been really allowing you to grow here and have perhaps even been a little bit against you or there has been some form of darkness here. Okay, that's only for a small portion of you, I feel. Um, or it's just your community, you know, not connecting to, not connecting on a level of going with the crowd. You know, this is more about you branching out into your own energy. And it's not to say that you don't want to connect with others. I just feel like you are taking the power into your own hands with the magician here. And then we have, I, I meet resistance with kindness. So what I feel with this is that you're releasing any resistance that you have had around this path or around this truth. Okay. There's something about that here. There's something about you realizing who you are or coming into this truth somehow here. So what is this truth? Let's see here. So there is something about protection here. I am seeing we have the seven of wands and I just heard the word protection too. And that's if you feel like there has been other interferences that have kind of wanted to keep you down because whoever this is that's, uh, that I'm connecting to, there's so much power that you have with the solar plexus here and success and fortune, the warrior, the magician, the lapis lazuli, the everything here. I feel like you're very powerful people and I feel like there's this maybe competition around you or there's a feeling of you having to kind of keep your make sure that you're protecting your energy okay yeah the devil in reverse that is kind of a second type of message i'm getting with the king of cups is that yeah five of wands reverse so there definitely has been a feeling here whether it's other people who are in the same you know career as you or same field as you or this even could be relationships or a family or whoever, there could be something that's holding you down from your path. And I feel this is maybe something that you already know. For others of you, you may not know this, and for others you do. And I feel this is about you knowing that you, knowing that you may have to kind of cut ties with things in order to really reach the level of success that you're meant to because of your, because of your power, because of, because of the direction that you're meant to go in here. So what is this truth except the truth for Sagittarius? What is this except the truth for Sagittarius? Yeah, there's been distractions. Okay, so we have here the Ten of Wands with the Queen of Wands in reverse. And we have the seven of cups in reverse with the death in reverse here and the five of pentacles beneath that. So, and here we have here the hair font, 
there's a seven of swords showing again. So I'm just going to take these out for a second to show you. So we have the devil in reverse, the seven of swords, the death reverse, the five of pentacles, the page of wands reverse. I think it was actually like that. And the hair font. And then the cards that flew out is the seven of cups reverse, the queen of wands reverse and the 10 of wands. So I feel like a lot of you, this is a passing thing. The devil reverse the seven of swords. Like I said before, there's been something that has been, you know, deceptive. Maybe there has been, um, it could be deception directly towards you within a relationship or anything that has been going on for you. But for others, this is again, a kind of a spiritual thing to where other factors, other people, your community, your your whoever you've been around. I feel like there's this been there's been this suppression of your creativity here with the page of wands reverse and the five of pentacles. Some of you I feel this is going to be a time to really release an old, outdated um friend circle or people or something along along those lines. Because I feel with the Ten of Wands and the Queen of Wands reversed, this is the same kind of feeling here as you having this power But it's, it's in reverse because the seven of cups is here in reverse, needing to, your energy is, has been spread too thin. And I feel that you're being encouraged right now to drop any heavy um, obligations or pressures or distractions that you know are keeping you from your path, because that's why there's this disconnection here from your spirituality. I mean, I don't feel like you're disconnected, but I feel like Spirit's encouraging you to know that if you don't, if you don't kind of branch out here and let go of certain things, then it's going to prevent you or hinder you from the abundance that you could have. Okay. So what else for Sagittarius in the month of December? So that's what the truth is. The truth is getting really clear on what is key. Because I'm getting with the magician a very light energy, a very like free flowing energy to where you can manifest whatever you want. You're in your power. You're in your truth. And I'm getting with that 10 of wands. This is holding the weight of too many things or too much energy being put into different places that are not allowing you to be in your in your true power truest power i'm getting also for some of you this is about your emotions this is about you like i'm getting a visual of um like a ball, a ball of your emotions, a ball of light that's within you, but it's being kind of spread in like multiple ways because you're giving it to, you're giving it to too many people, too many things, too many, whatever it is. And it's kind of keeping you from the purest form of manifestation that you could have. And that's the King of Cups with the magician here. So if you feel like you've been giving yourself too much to other people, or you maybe have just been in an unhappy position with something, you are being encouraged here to call back your power because when you do, you have this coming in for you here. Any other messages for Sagittarius in December? We have answers in reverse and we have healing in reverse. So some of you may have been waiting for, yeah, transformation in reverse, boundaries in reverse. We do have family beneath it. So it could be family for some of you that this is about since we had that hair font here too. So I feel kind of like what I was mentioning here with the boundaries card and the transformation. It's like there's been a feeling of you not protecting your energy enough. 
and this has been the pending transformation for you. Maybe some of you are not entirely sure if you're prepared for this, if you're ready for this year with the answers in reverse. Maybe there's a feeling of you not having all of the answers you need or not feeling that you have enough to move forward here. Tell me about this answers in reverse for Sagittarius. Some of you may suspect something. You may suspect something about somebody or there may be a suspicion that you have. And this reading could be your confirmation is what I'm hearing. What is answers in reverse for Sagittarius? Yep. So I don't know why. So we have here dark thoughts with creative endeavor in reverse. Same kind of thing as the page of wands reversed this pleasure and laughter, the magician, we have here a decrease and behind a mask. So this is, you know, once again, only for a very small portion of you, I feel, if you feel like you resonate with that, there could be something about like something that is preventing you from, um, how should I say, like something that's preventing you from your healing and there's almost the there's almost a decrease in your abundance or there has been in the past year and i feel like it's because there's been somebody here or yeah somebody here or something that has been draining you of your like your inner knowing cuz something has not been revealed here with the answers card and then for others of you, this is just you. You have been some of you have been um, behind a mask with who you are or where you're going here. And I feel this, especially if this is some creative project that you have that maybe you don't feel is accepted or maybe you feel something about it that has for some reason been hidden here either on your own doing or there has been influences here because in, with this dark thoughts card and true love you know this is really about sabotaging yourself or sabotaging your creativity with the way that you feel about yourself here some of you do need to work on healing your heart, healing, healing from within here because your your it's like your power is being decreased here because of that. Let's look at this behind a mask and then we'll get some advice. Because I feel like this is actually a major change for you. Like you're moving into a major transformation. For some of you, this has already happened. And for others of you, this is going to happen. And Spirit really wants to tell you that it's like you're moving into so much abundance and so much success here. But you also have to come out to the open about something or you have to come to terms with yourself because whatever this is, this path is not a bad thing. But if you have to... Yeah, let's see the moon in reverse. Either let go of fear about this or let go of judgment about this or fear of judgment, I should say. So what is this behind a mask and answers card for Sagittarius?
Yeah, Nine of Swords Reverse. This is about you. I think for a lot of you, this is about you. You have... Okay, so with the Nine of Swords in Reverse and the Six of Cups in Reverse and the Three of Pentacles Reverse and the Eight of Cups. So a lot of you are walking away from unsupportive people, unsupportive connections. Here we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse with the King of Wands. So once again, it could be connected to family. It could be connected to something about um, like something has been empty. Something has been empty about your your previous path or where you've, where you've been coming from, or you've been suppressing something that you've really wanted, or you've been suppressing yourself. So I feel like a lot of you, this does have to do with what you're, what you're moving towards in matters of career or work. And I feel like with the three of pentacles reversed and the eight of cups, this is, like I said earlier, you're moving into a solo path, but this solo path is actually going to really work out for you because this is where you're meant to go, at least for the time being. And that's what I'm actually feeling with this card in reverse here. There's been unsupportive people or coworkers or family. This could be a major thing for a lot of you that you feel ashamed about. I don't know why, but it could be with the Nine of Swords and the Six of Cups reversed. It's like you're coming into acceptance about yourself and about who you are and about what you want to do. And that is going to require you, <clears throat> excuse me, to walk away or people who could walk away from you. But the, the, the truth behind this is that you are going to ultimately be the one who is going to have your success that you're going to make on your own. So let's look at the advice. Yeah, this could be inner child for some of you, okay? This could be with the six of cups here that you have had maybe, you know, family opinions about or family, um, yeah, family confinements here that and this is just an example, but maybe there's something that you have felt that you were inside, but it wasn't going to be accepted by your family, or there's a path, or there's a career, or there's something that you want to do, but you know that other people would not accept that, or this is outside of your religion, or your family's religion, or whatever it could be. And I feel like this is about you breaking free from that, and not wanting to hide behind a mask anymore but to actually really pursue your own personal path. And this is very supported by spirit. It even could be that you're very spiritual with this. Remember your origins here. Some of you may, again, be a light worker here, and this is really looked down upon or something by your family or other people around you, or just people just don't understand you maybe. And this is you moving into this path. So what is the advice for you, Sagittarius? What is the advice for Sagittarius? Wow, look at that. Know your power and use it wisely. Exactly. So that pretty much summarizes it here. I do feel that you are using it wisely, but remember... I feel that um, yeah, I mean I feel I feel like a lot of you are using it wisely. So it's just telling you here to remember how powerful you are. See, we have here love yourself first, and we have salt cleanse or a detox. Beneath that we have be unapologetically yourself, yeah. And then we have come back to earth. So I'm getting the message that a lot of you are very empathic, um, really ground yourself, work on centering yourself and grounding yourself here, because I feel like with this, remember your origins too, and this here, 
it's like you have the tendency here to attract people who kind of use your energy or people who are energetic vampires here. And this is because of your power. This is because of, you know, who you are and what strength you have and what power you have as a light worker, as a healer, for those of you who are into that, if not, you know, anything that you're doing. And I feel there's a need here for you to, yes, love yourself first and yes, use your power wisely. And for some of you, if you do feel like you have not used that power wisely, it's like you're really restructuring that and you're really coming to a level of mastery within your emotions about how to use this wisely, how to use this for your benefit and for the benefit of other people too. So go into your cocoon and really know that you have the power to really be very impactful and very successful here, but make sure that you're grounded when you do it, whatever you're doing. Because A, you could attract lower vibrational energies and B, it's kind of like you have to make sure that you're in the right mindset to help others as well. And that's where you're heading. Okay. So work on, um, you know, doing maybe like a salt cleanse or just cleansing your energy because of these distractions that have been kind of keeping you weighed down. So I hope that this could help you Sagittarius. I know this was a very spiritual, um, you know, reading, but that's, what's coming through here. So I hope it could help. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a great rest of the, the month. And I'll talk to you next time. Much love.